Hi everyone, Gavin from CSV Getter here. In this video I'm going to show you how to take data from an Airtable table like this one and make sure it's synchronized into a Google Sheet like this one and you can do this all through the CSV Getter platform. So if you're not familiar with CSV Getter, it's an app for connecting to your Airtable, your Notion data and creating a handy export URL which will be a URL that people can use to generate a full download of the data. Now this is really useful in backup and automation processes like this one. And if you've not connected to Airtable in the platform before, it's really easy. You just log in, go to my account, and go ahead and press connect Airtable. You can select the bases that you'd like the app to have access to. Uh, in this case, I'm just gonna press all current bases, but if you'd like to cherry pick and only give the app access to one base, then you can go ahead and do that. So now that I've um, connected to Airtable, I can go ahead and select the inventory tracking base, which is the one that I'd like to uh, basically make available in this export, which is going to go to Google Sheets. Uh, the table I'm interested in is the, uh, is the product inventory. And I'll select the view that I'm interested in as well. I'm going to call this process Google Sheets Backup. So the next screen we're going to see here is uh, the data selection screen. This is a really powerful screen where you can do loads of stuff with your Airtable data, uh, including unselecting and reordering the fields. Um, there's a whole host of things that you can do. Uh, basically what we've done is we've created an export URL, uh, which this data here, this is a mirror image of my Airtable data. It's a sample of it. And on this page, we are basically going to determine what data is available in our export URL. And the export URL can be used to generate, download right now, or to use in a really handy backup process like this one. So I'm pretty happy with all the data that I'd like to basically back up here in Google Sheets. So I'm gonna go ahead and press spreadsheet import. Now, we've got instructions of how to get the data automatically put into an Excel workbook, uh, but in this video, we're interested in Google Sheets. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over to the Google Sheets tab. Here you'll see step-by-step -step instructions of how to get your data using this URL from Airtable into Google Sheets programmatically. Um, and in this video, I'm basically gonna take you through these, these steps to show you what that looks like. So over here in Google Sheets, I'll go ahead and press extensions and press app script. So Google app script is uh, basically a way of creating little applets by writing code, which can do stuff like update your spreadsheets. It's really powerful, uh, and I suggest you check it out. Um, we have written the code that you need for you in CSV Getter, so you can just go ahead and copy and paste this. This is a uh, Google script, which is very similar to JavaScript, and this code is really straightforward. We're just taking a URL, we're gonna use uh, a fetch to get all the data from the URL, and we're gonna overwrite the data in the sheet. It's a super simple little function, and when you press save, you can run the function. So when I press run, the first thing it's going to do is it's going to ask us for permission for this uh, basically app to update our Google Sheet. Now, this is quite a scary warning, uh, saying that authorization is required, but the only reason this is coming up is because you're actually creating an app by writing some app script code, and it's your own app that you need to give permission to access the files in uh, this account. So it's basically a custom app, which is why we get this warning here. If you're unsure about this, uh, then I suggest just having a closer look at the code you've copied and pasted. You can obviously put it into ChatGPT and check what it's doing if you're unfamiliar uh, with the code. Um, but if you go ahead and click allow, then the code will run just fine. As you can see now, our execution has started, and now the execution is completed. So here we have all our Airtable data backed up uh, from this base into this spreadsheet. So the really exciting thing about Google Apps Scripts and backup process, automatic processes like this, is that we have this triggers section. So triggers uh, are really great because you can basically create a schedule um, for this function that we've created. So we've actually created a function here called CSV Getter. And in the triggers section, uh, if we create a new trigger, we can make it time-based and make sure that CSV Getter kind of runs every day so that this, this um, Airtable data is backed up without us doing anything. It's an automatic backup process, having all your Airtable data in Google Sheets. It's obviously a great thing to do to make sure that your data 
is safe. So if I click time driven, I can get this to go every hour, every minute. I'm gonna say every day, that's enough for me. Every day at midnight, I'm gonna say my uh, CSV getter data, uh, my sorry, my Airtable data is gonna be backed up to Google Sheets uh, using CSV getter. So once you've managed to save your trigger, you'll see it appear here in the trigger section. And this is where you can obviously edit it, tweak it to the settings that you like. Um, so that's basically how to automatically get Airtable data into Google Sheets. Uh, I hope that's a helpful video for you. Uh, in the description, we're going to have a link to the CSV Getter docs, because as I say, there's so much you can do with this platform. You can connect to other data sources as well. You can build really cool stuff. You can use it in a technical sense. You can use it in a non-technical sense. Um, there's loads of information there, and um, yeah, we hope that it's, we find it useful and interesting. But if you have any questions uh, about the platform, instead, we'd rather just get in touch. Our email is info at csvgetter.com, and that email is going to be in the description as well. Thanks very much for watching the video, and yeah, enjoy, enjoy using the app.